And so our story begins. But who is the hero of our tale? Then let his destiny unfold. That's lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. What is going on over there? Come with me, little brother. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back. And I'll be waiting for you. Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. <sighs> that filthy creep. I hate him. Oh, he's just a trader. I can't see anything past come this one. Come on, come on. A ladies and a gentleman. I have travelled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. Best thing to do is... Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients, as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times, and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. All right, calm down. We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad, but I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon, but you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. 
What? You, you really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream, no closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces, and maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on, there must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to do something. Oi, kids, come here a minute. Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants blew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't leave my post. Hey, why don't you find them for me? You could be like uh, little constables. Sounds fun, right? How much do little constables get paid? Paid? Listen, kids. These are the five most wanted criminals in Bowerstone. Yeah? Well, how badly do you want them? Fine. <clears throat> One gold for all five warrants. Deal. So, With a lifelike instant But for image. now, let's find some more money. <laughs> Pull the other one. Hello, children. Hello. What's that? This? Why, it's only the most amazing device ever conceived. It grabs your very likeness and transfiddles it onto a magic piece of paper. It's going to make me very rich. If only I could find someone to modelify for it. We'll do it. For a gold piece. Hmm. I only have one gold left. But you're right. I should investalize it in my new venture. Uh, deal. A gold piece just to stand there. Sounds all right, doesn't it? Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Be what? Ah, oh, yes. I... Very well. Strike a pose, my young friend. What a calm. He takes us for fools. <laughs> Wondrous. This thing's going to be more popular than that pox. Now, I just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around. Oh. I can almost smell the gold. <laughs> Let me Easy know if you find us. the warrants. He's a bit scary. Hope he's all right. We've got our first gold coin, though. I love you more than words can tell. Well, I'm sorry, too. No. This must be the alley the warrants blew down. We should take a look. Come on! Rex caught a dog and he's gonna <gasps> kick the corner. You like that, you stupid mutt? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh! He hit a girl. Yeah, and now I'm gonna hit another one. Right in the head. 
Thanks for your help. I could have taken him, though. You. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. Is that one of the warrants? Well, we have our first warrant. Yes, another warrant. Hmm, I don't think they'll miss this Leroy if they see it. Oh, that would look nice on a mantle. I've got to steal a mantle. Need help with something? Uh, sort of, yes. You kids aren't afraid of uh, beetles, are you? No, that would be silly. Yes, silly. <laughs> no one's afraid of loathsome, evil, conniving beetles. Well, uh, since you're not afraid, uh, how would you like to ruthlessly exterminate a few that are in my warehouse? We'll do it for a gold piece. Done. Oh, I hope you can make them suffer. If those idiots... Shoot the beetles. Shoot to kill. And while you're breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. Hey, kid. Balthazar owes some protection money to Nicky the nickname. So how about you leave the Beatles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. the nickname's behalf. Yeah! Smash him up! Oh, good one! Hey, hey! He'll be out of business in no time! Great stuff! <laughs> Great work, kid. You've got a real talent there, you do. That'll teach Balthazar not to pay Nicky the nickname. Here, catch. Oh, I'm ruined. My stock is destroyed. Children. That was a laugh, wasn't it? Getting paid to smash things up. Still and we've got another We're really doing it. There's that dog again. I need a drink. Hey, you found one for us. Good boy. You're right, Betty. You're oh, I know. Right. You're I sweet. need two drinks. But I told you before, we can't keep you. Come on, little sparrow. I'm worthless. That's the bottle talking. Hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of twins. Oh, you get... Let's find this magpie guy. <sighs> that must be... Don't wake him up. <sighs> ah, stupid Pete. You snooze, I take them. Let's go collect our gold from the lady and the tramp. You ain't the boss of me. Hey, the quadruplets are back. You've Hand over the wine, little sparrow. Hand it over! Don't, he's trying to quit. 
Hold it! What you bang this in there for? This must be yours. Ah, I've got it! You should be ashamed of yourself, getting children to fetch alcohol for you. He looks happy. Suppose that's what matters, isn't it? And that's the thing the coin says. There's two more and we can buy the box. That's all the worries. We should go back to that guard. Hey, it's my favourite couple of kids. Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want them. So does our friend the guard. Yeah, but you're going to give them to me, see? Otherwise there'll be trouble. There'll be trouble, all right. You take these and I'll tell our friend what you really want. All right, you little hard case. What's he paying you? A gold piece? I'll give you a gold right here. Save you to walk back. A gold's a gold, I guess. If you want the money right now, you could give him the wallet. I knew you'd come through for me. See you around, kids. I do hate him, but you're right. We've got to get our gold quickly before someone else buys the music box. And we've got four gold coins. We just need one more. Your mother is an accursed cow. Shh. I think Mother heard us. Mother, you again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Before I call the guard. Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no good delinquent Monty. Little ones, my situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Looks to me like you fancy the girl who lives there, but her mum thinks you're rubbish, so she's locked her away. Uh, I suppose that's the gist of it. Why'd you ask me then? Maybe we could help you. Yes! You could take my proposal letter to the fair maiden. Oh, there is hope. My heart... My heart soars in my chest like... like... Get that letter straight up to Belinda. Don't let her mum get it. Knock on the door and let's see who answers. What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. Wait there while I get the money. And don't you touch anything. Oh, Monty told us not to give it to the mother. But she'll pay us if we just wait here. Money, but then, if we give it to Belinda upstairs, oh, maybe they can run away here together. Here it is. Thank you, postboy. Marry my daughter? Over my dead body! Where is he? <laughs> That's hilarious. We did it. <laughs> 
We can buy the music box now. Come Hello, on, Tilda. let's go buy that music box. Hello, we've come to buy the music box. I can't wait to see what it can do. Very wise, little ones. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. I wish, I wish. But where did it go? Why are we still here? Five gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. Oh, I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow, go to bed.